Ah, <laughs> oh, really? That's Lewis giving the, the game away that all the Seek Raiders are on Discord. <laughs> oh, yeah, I saw those messages from the A Graders. <laughs> Thank you, teammate Lewis, hey? <laughs> <laughs> so they're saying now yeah that the, the a graders are messaging that they think there's still maybe enough time to catch the c graders push 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 oh that's lewis messaging the a graders push 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 <laughs> yeah, lewis is messaging them to encourage them <laughs> The A graders reckon they've got a system for communicating, which is like a styrofoam set of cups on a long string between each other. <laughs> so Lewis has still got a couple of hundred metres on the A graders. So we'll... Ah. Uh... But Lewis is... Okay, I'm I'm watching Lewis Lewis at the moment. Lewis is trying to ramp up his watts in advance of the A graders catching him. They're only a hundred meters behind. So, so the the A graders have. The A graders have come onto Lewis's map and they're in hot pursuit. So... Yeah, that's the challenge that the uh, the apps on the phone really drain the battery. Okay, the A graders are only a sort of 50 metres off the back of Lewis now, soon to be gobbled up. But can he hold on to the A graders, the three? And the A graders are still messaging between themselves. Beast mode. Looks like the A graders are putting in a big effort to catch Lewis. And here they... Here they go, the A graders rush past. There's a Tron bike, two Tron bikes, and a third A grader. And Lewis has dropped his power up and he's 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 keen to stay in the in the slipstream. Yes, looks like Lewis has made it into the slipstream of the the A grade bunch. I'm just recording the uh, the race at the moment. So the the C grade bunch is about eight, no seven, seven riders still together. Dave Jacobs, Chris Chow, Robbie S, and is Frank still there? Yeah, Frank's still there. And then there's a couple of cup couple of uh, randoms, one from, I don't know, Portugal or something like that. Another from, is it Mexico? And another from Scotland? Oh no, he... Mexico, yeah, VL, V Leal from Mexico, Dave, Frank, Rob S. And Dean Noonan, about 55 seconds off the front. I think that's the Scottish flag. 
Yeah, but he's been he's been dropped. So there's only six riders up in the uh, the chasing bunch of the C grade. With with D with. We switch. We switch switch back to the A graders, and it appears that they have broken the shackles of the Lewis, and Lewis is not with the three A graders anymore, as much as he wanted to. The A graders are at twenty eight kilometres. Twenty eight kilometres in the race. And, but the uh, the C grade bunch, the chasing bunch, is at 32.8 k's. So there's only another seven kilometres or so left in the race for the C grade bunch. Dean Noonan at the front of the race is still pumping out the watts big time. He's definitely not a C grader, averaging sort of over four watts a kilo. Oh, and the C grade bunch has just hit the the slopes of the climb. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, could I somehow? cut out a lap of the course and get onto the back of the C grade bunch. I get blown out of the water. So back looking now at the C grade bunch going through the heart of the volcano. They're still sticking together the six riders, working well together. Not bothered by the fellow off the front, D Noonan, who's Clearly not on with power and won't feature in the results. <laughs> Either will Dave Jacobs, by the sounds of it. He hasn't registered on with power yet. So it could be Frank. Could be Frank for the win today. Oh, you see Rob S is in B grade. Chris Chow is in almost A. Dave Jacobs is not on Zwift Power. That only leaves a couple of randoms. The, the Mexican, I'll look him up on Zwift Power. So the uh, the V Leal character he doesn't appear on Swift Power either. Yeah, wait for me, fellas. I don't know why you guys. Ah. Oh yeah, so they are. I'll give them. 
I'll, I'll give them all a wave. Fucking how unsociable. So it's, it's difficult to say whether the Hennessy person is on swift power because he might be under a different name, uh, yeah. But I'd say Frank Qu Frank Quatone is very good. No, keep it going, Frank. Keep it going. This is your chance for glory. For Zwift, for Zwift glory. You got your two supporting riders, or three supporting riders, and Dave, Chow Man, and Rob S. If necessary, you toss your bike away and run, you know, like Chris Froome up uh, on two. Well, there's a couple that there's a couple there's a couple that have already been dropped from the group, so it's just the four riders up front or in the chase group. Fancies himself Hennessy on the volcano climb to the finish. Could have been just a flash in the pan from. M. Hennessy. Oh, now it looks like the A-graders are still together. Three A-graders, they're just coming onto the volcano. They've just turned off the road from the Italian villas, the causeway that goes across to the base of the volcano, and they've turned in the opposite direction to start their volcano ascent. Well, they'll do a loop at the base of the volcano, and then they'll start their ascent. No, no, I don't think so. Big, big, yeah, because... It, yeah, like wait until they hit the base of the volcano climb, then the time gaps might become accurate. But the the uh, the, the A graders are at 33.6 kilometres into the race, so three A graders together at 33.7 kilometres into the race now, and they're they're still only putting out sort of between four and five watts a kilo. Ooh, is this becoming a bit of a grudge match between the Jacobs and Chow Man? And Dave, 
appears to have taken the cartoon capers seriously today. Chow Man's putting in a big effort, looking at the five and a half to six watts a kilo to try and chase down the Jacobs. And 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 they're drawing, and Jacobs is drawing Noonan back. So Dave Jacobs could be going for the victory, the overall victory ahead of the rest of the C grade chase bunch and the A graders. There's plenty of climbing still to go. Dave Jacobs is putting in efforts up to five watts a kilo. The, the Noonan, D, D Noonan guy is really only stuck on his four watts a kilo. He's been pumping that out all day. Looking at Dave Jacobs. Looking at Dave Jacobs, he's on his giant. He hasn't gone, he hasn't, certainly hasn't Zwift enough to generate the, uh, unlock the Tron bike. So he's he's stuck on his cheap, cheap, slow, heavy giant bike and d noonan yeah the d noonan guy is is stuck so i reckon d noonan is going to get some real scared looks at the moment because he's losing his his gap or his lead on Dave Jacobs, who's consistently putting out the five watts a kilo. Yeah, and Frank, as we look at Frank, he's still going he's putting out plenty of watts four watts a kilo this is a really fantastic effort by frank he, he could be the only one left standing <laughs> he's not far he's, he's he's only 11 seconds back from rob s so he needs to only put in a bit of a bridging effort to get back up to one of his teammates chris chris chow Yeah, Chris is, is blown because he's let one of the randoms, the Mexican, Leo, get in front of him. Chris has got to find something inside him to get back up so that he gets onto the podium for this race. And Dave is within 33 seconds of the lead. He's still putting out plenty of watts, but he's running out of road. He may not have enough time to draw this D Noonan back in before the top of the climb and the finish line. The A, a graders now are just coming onto the climb and they're six minutes back. So they, they are definitely out of the race, the A graders, no matter how many watts they put out. And they're, they're, they're putting in five and six watt efforts on the base of the climb. But and Dean Noonan appears to have just crossed the finish line. And Dave Jacobs is only 20 or 25 seconds back, approaching the summit now to finish in second place. Chris Chow has moved up ahead of the Mexican. As we watch Dave cross the finish line, he puts in a bit of an effort. And we're watching Chow Man, who's got 
the Mexican on his wheel. So German has to be careful that this uh, Mexican doesn't put in a big effort in the last few hundred metres. Because <laughs> the Mexican's putting in a big, a big attack. Both Chow Man and the Mexican are going for the third place. Chow Man's pulling out the big watts now, up to eight watts a kilo, and then does it easily. We got Rob S and Frank. Frank at 40. Frank is Frank is still four minutes ahead of the A graders. Frank is putting in plenty of watts. And he's not far back from Rob S. Rob S appears to be waiting for his teammate to give Frank a wheel up the hill. Frank's putting in little spurts. He's putting in little efforts. So both Rob and Frank are putting in big watts at the moment just to take that last little very steep pinch of the climb in. That's going to hurt those six, seven, eight percent portions of the last climb. But the A graders are nowhere to be seen. They are minutes back. And that's Robbie S comfortably crossing the finish. Oh, no, Robbie, Robbie S is set up to give Frank a wheel in the last 50 metres. And they both cross the line almost together. Uh, Lewis and the doctor are the only ones left.